hey mom, thanks for not clicking on this video, and if you did, just cuz, um, you know that you should not watch this. Hello girls and gays and goons. Today we are talking about drinking in college. I'm gonna go through some advice, some advice that I could have followed this weekend. I just wanted to share this because I realized like there are some key things that you need to know if you're like going into college and you're planning on drinking. One of the most important things is kind of knowing where you want to head to, like whether you want to be just kind of tipsy or like actually drunk. And so that will like give you an idea of like how many actual drinks to like limit yourself at within an hour. <laughs> if you're hoping to get a little tipsy, maybe like one, one and a half drinks. Um, I'm gonna speak in terms of shots because that's what everyone does in college. If you're planning on getting drunk, like for obviously it depends on your body weight and your metabolism, so you kind of have to figure that out for yourself. I'd recommend when you're first trying drinking to drink with like some close friends or in like a smaller group setting. That way you have a little more control over your environment. Also, another big thing is drink a glass of water between each drink, or if you do two drinks in a row, drink a glass of water. <laughs> um, just drink water water so you don't get a hangover and so that your body has something <laughs> other than just alcohol in it. It's also really important to eat before you drink so that it doesn't all hit you at once. If you don't have any food in your stomach, alcohol is going to hit you a lot harder and faster and it's just not going to be a good time. Even if you have like a pretty big meal, if you didn't really have a lot during the rest of the day, it can still like hit you a lot harder than you'd expect. So be mindful of like, have I eaten recently? Maybe I should eat something. Another really important thing is that your surroundings really matter in terms of your perception of your own intoxication. So if you're staying in one room, you are not going to realize how intoxicated you are. So make sure you're kind of like looking around, at least like moving your vision, walking a little bit kind of to test the waters with where you are. Oftentimes if you're just like standing in like a cramped space and then you leave that space, like it will suddenly hit you how drunk you are because you're suddenly not in the same space that you were drinking in. Also if you're really used used to drinking in a space, then you will feel less drunk in that particular space. It's like a psychological thing. I don't really know the science behind it, but it's it's a thing that exists. So be mindful of that. If you're pre-gaming in a room that you always pre-game in, or drinking in a room that you always drink in, then you're not going to feel as drunk in that room. But once you leave that room, you will realize how drunk you are. Also, practicing and knowing when to say no to more drinks. Like if someone wants to do a shot with you and you're like, I'm not really sure if I want to do that, you can just say no and people will respect that and if they don't respect that they're not being a good friend. I haven't encountered like a lot of pressure to drink but a lot of times it comes in this like wave of like people offering you things and knowing whether to say yes or no to that depending on how you feel because it's like easy to accept things but it's harder to like reject offers. You know I was at a pregame last year and they kept like offering me drinks and I was like no I'm good no. One of the things they pointed out were like it's so funny like you're not even making any like excuses you're just saying no like I've never <laughs> that's wild using an excuse is totally fine because sometimes that kind of softens the blow the reason I'm making this video is because I got alcohol poisoning this weekend Ooh. it was a terrible experience my house was throwing a party I left a pregame in this very cramped space I was standing in one space I kept drinking I did not realize how much I was drinking and then I got back to my house I was like fine for a little bit and then suddenly I was very not fine I went to the bathroom I threw up um, and someone had to baby me the entire night while I was throwing up and passed out on the bathroom floor this is why I didn't want my mom to watch this video because she knew that I was really hungover on Saturday but I didn't want her to know that like I probably needed medical attention that I didn't seek. <laughs> There's also this whole weird like social thing about getting transported in college. So basically when an ambulance comes to pick someone up who has had too much to drink because sometimes they don't have someone with them to take care of them or sometimes the people who are with them are just like very concerned and they should be transported. Sometimes like you cannot give them everything they need. They need more than just like a friend there. There's sort of like a weird stigma around Around it and like a lack of respect around it. I'm very glad I wasn't transported because I would not have liked to explain that to my mom. I'm also very lucky that I had someone who was able to take care of me for like two hours even though he was also like very drunk. When my housemates found out that this was happening they were all like freaking out because like obviously it's a very scary situation to have someone just like not being very responsive in your presence. I'm very much so glad that I had other people there to take care of me. So it's like very important if you choose to drink to have sort of like a 
a social net around you of people who like care about you and would possibly take care of you because facing that sort of stuff alone is really scary and hard and hopefully you will never have to do that. It's a very real possibility and like most people in college have that experience at least once which is like <laughs> yikes. The entire next day I was nauseous and felt absolutely horrible. Yeah I just wanted to share that because it happened to me and it was part of my college experience and this is an important thing to kind of document and share so that we can have conversations about it. If you don't want to get to a point of being that drunk probably just stick to wine and beer because it's harder to drink like to that level of intoxication when you're drinking a less concentrated form of liquor. That was my drinking advice for you. If you have any more things that you'd like to share leave them in the comments because like obviously I don't know everything. I'm just a random a random person at this college at a small liberal arts school and of course drinking culture at different colleges is very different. It's entirely avoidable if you don't want to drink. Some colleges like that is the main social thing but I promise you you can find something else and you can find people who enjoy that other thing as well and who respect you for not wanting to drink. Experimenting is important. I think it's really really important to be able to say no under pressure. It's a lot harder to say no if you're under pressure to do something but you can say no and if someone doesn't respect that then you can leave the situation. Okay that is kind of all I wanted to say in this video. Let me know if this so when I have these lights on there's sort of this like raising bar thing you know because like the the light rate of the lights is conflicting with the frame rate you know I, that was a bad explanation but you kind of get the gist of what I'm saying so let me know if that's annoying and I won't have those on in future videos but I think that this setting is like not as bad as other ones thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me if you have any resources you'd like to share leave them in the comments and I can maybe add them to the description or just pin your comment or whatever that's really that's really it okay bye <laughs> bye Thank <laughs> you.